Hi folks, Captain Dave and Dave here again with you at Destination Water Sports, home of all your water sports needs. Hey, today we're going to talk about jet skis, folks. And when we talk about jet skis, we know how fun they can be. But before we get to the fun, we're going to talk about safety, folks. The most important thing that we care about is your safety. Destination Water Sports. We're going to start with the Coast Guard box, folks. The Coast Guard box is provided on all of your jet skis. And in that Coast Guard box, you'll notice that we have a first aid kit, a phone number with our contact information, a registration with a baggie to put all your cell phone equipment, and of course a safety lanyard with a whistle on it. Those are all included in your Jet Ski Coast Guard box, which goes right down on your Jet Ski. Now I'm going to hand this off to Captain David as I talk to you here at the camera, and I'm going to continue to talk while David demonstrates how to operate that Jet Ski and what we do so that when you get on it, everything's perfectly safe. All right, so I'm going to hand this off to Captain David. And we're going to say hello to Captain David there, hello, folks. Cap hello, folks. How are you? And David's going to go on out to the jet ski. The first thing he's going to do is he's going to show you how to put that box right in the jet ski. Now, there's a little tab that he's pressing. And we're going to show you that again. We're going to shut it. And we're going to show that to you again. That tab opens up. And then down inside there, inside that tab. We have a nice little hole. We have a nice little hole where that Coast Guard box sits nice and dry and stays right in there. Then we're going to go ahead and shut that jet ski tab and click it down so that's nice and secure. Again, to operate that, you simply put your finger here, lift up, and it comes wide open. Now, Captain Dave's going to get up on the jet ski, and we're going to talk about a couple things, a couple features on this jet ski. The very first is that safety lanyard and how you hook it up and how you put it on your wrist. Captain Dave's going to show you how we put that on your wrist. Simply slide it through, put it on your wrist. And make sure you pull it tight. And make sure you snug her tight. Then, on the jet ski, up underneath the stop button, you'll notice that the stop button pulls out. This little clip goes behind it. Just slide it in. And it slides in. Now, when you start the jet ski by pressing this green button, you start it, boom, it starts up. If you're thrown from the watercraft or you accidentally get separated, that lanyard automatically pulls off and shuts the jet ski down. Now, for your, for your safety, we also have a compartment that opens up where you could slide in certain things, glasses, so forth and so on. There's the on-off switch, folks. It's right there. You are not to touch that at any time while you're operating the white watercraft. What you want to do is use the stop and go buttons on the jet ski, and then use your throttle cable, which is located on the right portion of the handlebar, for forward and reverse as well. We have a forward and reverse lever, and I'm going to switch around here to the other side so that we can see that. And that reverse lever bar pulls up. You simply squeeze the bar and pull it up and down. And David's going to demonstrate that. There we go. That puts it in reverse. Folks, you never want to use the reverse lever unless you're at idle. Cause, throwing that reverse lever, lever at full speed will cause you to flip the jet ski and throw you off and cause bodily injury. Now that we're ready to talk about having fun on the water, Captain Dave, why don't we talk about flip over procedures? Tell them what to do in the event that the jet ski flips over. How do they right the, the vessel? Well, to right the vessel, there is a label on the back corner, which will also help you remind you if you are in the water. But from the left side, you want to turn, I mean, I apologize, from the right side, you want to turn this clockwise. So you're going to stand on the gunnel of the right side, grab the grate, and sort of fall to the back and that jet ski will roll right with you. So what you're basically saying, Captain David, is when you have the jet ski that's flipped over upside down in the water, yes, sir. you want to pull it away from the side that has the exhaust. Away from so the you, exhaust. So you want to stand up on the jet ski, climb up on it upside down, yes, sir. put your feet on the upside down side yes. rail on right. the back side, back lean side. over, lean grab, up, it, grab it, and pull and your body, body weight backwards. Now, Captain Dave, won't that throw you into the water? It will. But what happens? You have a life jacket on, so you will float. Ah, wonderful. So what you're telling me, Captain David, is with that life jacket on, we'll be able to float, but we'll get our jet ski righted. Correct. What happens if I can't right the jet ski? Is there another way that we can flip the jet ski over? Yes, there is. Okay, so what you're saying is if we get up underneath the front with the handlebars and we're able to turn the handlebars to one side, we can leverage it up with our body weight and flip leverage. it back over? And you still want to go clockwise with the ski. Away from the exhaust side. From the exhaust. Now, our representatives will show you where that exhaust side is once we get on the water because, of course, at Destination Water Sports, we do all of our watercraft training right here 
every time somebody goes out, no matter what their experience. Isn't that right? That is right. Right here on the water's edge. Okay. So I guess the last thing we need to talk about is what do we do in the event of a fire? Well, in case of a fire, first you want to make sure that you are safe first. Then, in the back compartment of the ski, under this seat, we have a yellow canister that has a fire extinguisher in it. Pull loose. Simply untwist, and there's your fire extinguisher. extinguisher. Pull it out. Pull, pull the, the pin. Yellow pin. Depress the top at the base of the fire in a sweeping motion to put the fire out, and that should take care of the fire. In case it doesn't, get, get in the water. Get in the water. Get off your jet, jet ski. ski. Okay. So you at this the, point, if there is a fire on it, you want to pull your lanyard. Pull your you lanyard. want to try to get to the fire bottle extinguisher as best you can. Yes. But the first, most important thing is we're fully insured. You're fully covered, folks. You want to take care of yourself first and get to safety. Correct. Most important part is getting to that Coast Guard box, getting it out because that box will float in the water with you. Yes, it will. Okay. And, and getting... also, it is very easy to get to once you're from standing up top side the uh, handlebars. Just reach in, grab it, and get, and, off, the and get off the ski. And then just call us on the radio and we'll come out and assist you in any way possible. Yes. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, Destination Water Sports, home of all your water sports needs. Folks, when you want to have a great time on the water, you come down and see Destination Water Sports. There's no question we won't answer for you. Come down for all your jet ski needs.